Today, I'm whipping up a delicious breakfast for you. We're making oatmeal apple pancakes with a little bit of maple syrup on there. These are delicious, guys. These are nice and fluffy. They have a hint of cinnamon and vanilla, and of course, some fresh apple. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. All right, I'm gonna start off with chef joke number one. Number two will be a little bit later in the video, so stay tuned for that. All right, so what does a good baseball team and pancakes have in common? They both need a good batter. So what I think you're gonna love about this recipe is that we're gonna be putting all of our ingredients into a blender. Any blender will work. I happen to have a Vitamix and it works great. And it just comes out so quick. You know, it's a quick put together, blend it up, put it on the stove, cook it up, and breakfast is ready. So let's go over the ingredients. All right, so first up, we have some rolled oats here. I'm, I'm using organic here and gluten-free because uh, glyphosate is uh, known to be in oats, so I'm trying to minimize that. We have some almond flour. I've got a couple of eggs, one organic apple, which we're gonna grate, some applesauce, some cinnamon. I have some baking powder, butter, pure maple syrup, vanilla extract, and some olive oil. Before we start throwing everything into the blender at once, what we want to do is just put in the oats. And the reason is, is that I want to blend these up first so they get nice and fine, so that they're not chunky. So once that turns into what looks like a flour, we're ready to add the other ingredients. Now we can add the almond flour, the applesauce, now this is unsweetened applesauce, the baking powder, some butter. Now you wanna melt your butter, I just put mine in the microwave. Let's add some wonderful cinnamon to this because I really love cinnamon and apples, so we'll toss in that. And some vanilla extract, the real deal here, that always enhances the flavor and brings out the sweetness. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of maple syrup for a little more sweetness, not too much. And we're gonna add a couple of eggs. Now, so we've added everything except the raw apple. We're gonna add that when we get done blending this. I'm gonna scrape down the sides because it's nice and chunky in there. Now you wanna pour your batter into a bowl, that way you guys can see it better. Now it looks a little bit thick, but not too bad. You can see it's nice and smooth, which is what you want. So we'll put this in here and then we're gonna add our apple. I'm using an organic apple here. You can either chop it up or you can grate it up. And you can use any size that you want on the grate system here and you can leave the peel on or take it off. I'm just gonna leave it on because it's an organic apple. And you just end up with like pieces like this. I will probably cut those just a little bit more. You just want to be careful not to get into the seeds. And you just want the pieces nice and small. And then I'll just place them right into the batter and stir them in. Okay, it's time for chef joke number two. You ready? Here we go. How do you make a pancake smile? You butter it up. So I have a large pan here over medium high heat and I'm gonna add some olive oil to this. You can use any oil you like, avocado, coconut, or even butter works. And once the oil gets hot, that's when we'll add our batter to it. Now, if your batter seems too thick, you can always add just some water to it or any kind of milk or alternative milk. All right, so let's add some of this to our pan. So if the batter seems a little thick, go ahead and use your spoon to spread it out a little bit to get it to, you know, maybe a quarter of an inch thick. So we're gonna let these cook a little bit and then you're gonna notice little bubbles working their way up to the top. And once it gets a little dry looking, then you know it's time to flip it over. 
And then we'll cook these on the second side until they're nice and golden brown. I'm gonna place these on a plate behind the pan where it's nice and warm and we'll cook up another batch. I'm adding some Kerrygold butter here, so delicious, and a little bit of maple syrup. All right, time for a taste test. That is delicious. Love the cinnamon, the apple, the vanilla. Truly delicious, the oatmeal makes a very nice flavor for the pancakes, you're gonna love this. You know what might go great with these pancakes? You could try, instead of a regular maple syrup, you could try my creamy maple syrup. You gotta, you gotta check that out. I'm gonna leave a link for you, and you can make that as an alternate to regular maple syrup if you want, it's delicious. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and leave me a comment, I always love to hear from you. All right, we'll see you next week for another rockin' recipe.